Hi. Welcome. YouTube was created in February 2005 by three, four members of PayPal. Steve Chem, Chad Hurley, and Jared Karen. In its first year of business, it was sold for $1.65 million, and that's about $1 for every stone on this beach. I wanna see those eyes that you gave me that night. So inquisitive. So inquisitive. <laughs> YouTube. It's an internet giant that shares videos from around the world, but is the fame going to their heads? And are they just focusing on the money now? That's what I, Jack Snelling, and my colleague Keaton Gover are going to investigate. We'll be asking YouTubers Connor Chadwick, Owen Finnegan, Nadine McAuliffe, and Chris Gold about their opinions on the subject. So yeah, we're going to go meet Connor Chadwick today from Red Matter Productions. I'm excited, you're excited, we're all excited. Productions on YouTube, do you upload to YouTube? <laughs> yes, I do very regularly. So what made you in particular start creating videos to put on YouTube? Um, well, I suppose I was just I was showing YouTube in 2006 and I didn't really think much of it at the time. But I sort of I just joined in 2007 and just made random videos from there, really. Do you think YouTube primarily focuses on channels that have large views? Yeah, they do definitely. I mean, there are some users that only get about a few hundred views, but they make like an absolutely brilliant video. I mean, there are some videos only like, even though it's quite a lot of views, like tens of thousands. Like, there's this video I watched a couple months ago called New Prime. What's happening, Forum? I'll be the first to admit that I love jumping on trampolines. Like this girl. It looks fun, right? So finally, to wrap up things, what are your views on the loss of the Spotlight feature on YouTube? I mean, um, well, it's bad, definitely. I mean, not only do people get as much recognition, I mean, all I see now is instead of just things such as Ray William Johnson, Shane Dawson, all that stuff, and and then they've also changed the uh, subscriptions as well. They yeah. made highlights instead of everything, so they're highlighting all the big YouTubers, not everybody. So we are currently in Tallahassee, and I'm not really sure how to do these vlog things. I'm sure I'll get better as I progress. Basically, I'm going to be doing one of these things every single day. Everything is going to the beat. And everything is going to the beat. And everything is going. To in 2008, YouTube partnered with Google to create the YouTube Partnership Program. This allowed content creators to gain money from the videos they made. Quite some time after this, some YouTubers made this their full-time job. For a few years, this was revolutionary. A new media, some labelled. But after time, Google turned YouTube into a profit site. YouTube was now taken over by two corporations. Vivo and Google. Hi, my name's Nadine and my channel is Nadine is here. I'm a YouTuber, obviously. My inspiration is everyday life, everything I go through, my hopes, my dreams and my aspirations. Both companies invested in advertisements to videos that got large views and eventually scrapped featuring new and on-the-scene content creators for the channels that give the website the most money. Here with Christopher Gould of CSG Media Productions on YouTube, and um, so obviously you have a channel on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So I take you do you know you know what YouTube? Is, yeah. Uh, do, you, do you upload to YouTube regularly? Probably 
round about the video a month maybe, and then on my gaming channel it's going to be more frequent than that. Yeah. What made you in particular start uploading and creating videos to put onto YouTube? I don't know, I just saw people um, like on YouTube, and obviously there were some people in my old school on YouTube, and I joined it when I was about 13, and just had a couple more channels since then. Do you think YouTube primarily focuses on users who have large view numbers, rather than the smaller users? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, the more views you get, and the higher up you, you, um, on the pages you usually are when you get searched and things like that. So it's easier to see people who've got more views. So it's it, yeah, it definitely is in favour of the people with high view counts. Give us a pose, Joe. <laughs> uh, we've got only Owen, or otherwise known as Owen Finnegan. So, Owen, when did you first start on YouTube? I started in 2009. So, Owen, talk a little bit about your channel and what you do. Um, I just do vlogs and short films sometimes and music and whatever. Whatever. That's amazing. Whatever. There's no routine to it. Whatever I want to do, I'll do it. So, do you feel like YouTube has changed you in any way at all? On um, it's definitely like made me more confident. I mean, after after twenty thousand people subscribed to me, yeah. it was pretty nice knowing that they all wanted to watch me. <laughs> so, only Owen, it's been a pleasure speaking to you, and I'll probably speak Thank to you. you later on. Oh. Yeah, I hope so. So, I'll, I'll see. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. That was Charlie. It's a cool like bye. Bye, sharp. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>